So, Brendan, now we come to our sending song. Uh, I just, I love this part of the service because after being filled with everything that we have done from the you know, beginning of reading a psalm to all the elements of the worship leading up to this, it's like, man, now our hearts are full and now it's a song of, of triumph, of victory. Yeah. So tell us what's the purpose of this song and, and wh why do we do this? Sure. I, I agree. I think it's great just going out in song. It's one more time of just being unified together in one voice. We try to be real specific about the songs. There's actually kind of a shorter list of songs that we'll end with, mm -hmm. things that point us one more time to Christ, one more time to the cross. Um, they give us that comfort and assurance to go home that we can, that we can really face the world, all the things that are there in Christ's strength. Um, it's something that kind of gives us some marching orders that we would be bold for the gospel, mm -hmm. all of those things. Um, and just being able to end on a, on a note of celebration, like you said, triumph, you know, oh, yeah. celebrating the victory and, and even looking ahead yeah. to the victory to come. Absolutely. Well, I think uh, it's, it's so beautiful because this gives us that hope that only the gospel can bring and the hope that, uh, that we hope everybody is, is getting through this, this series that we just did and coming to a completion here is, uh, as we said in the very first video, we, we hope that this is bringing uh, understanding as to the whys behind everything that we do in our worship. We're not, we're not just kind of going through the motions here. There is purpose. There is planning behind that. We're trying to uh, put away any mis misunderstandings about that. We're trying to hopefully enhance their worship experience yeah. here that as they come in, they know, wow, there is a plan, there is structure, and all of that is to magnify Christ, mm -hmm. to make much of Him, and to, and to deal with the, the sin in our hearts or to bring encouragement, whatever the case may be, that all of that is, is there to, to ultimately glorify Him. And so our prayer, man, I know our prayers in doing these videos is that our people would, would see these things, appreciate the worship that we have every week, yeah. and, and just rejoice and look forward in anticipation Absolutely. to what's coming in the weeks ahead. Yeah, I, I pray that, that people will just walk away knowing that, you know, every element, I think we're on the same page, matters. Yes. You know, every element is important. There's not something that, I, well, I can skip this part or I can do things like that because, you know, as you look through all these things, well, what can we do without, mm -hmm. you know? I need to be prayed for by my pastor. I need to confess sin with brothers and sisters. Mm -hmm. I need to sing about God's greatness, about the gospel. I need to better understand the text through preaching, through singing. I need to respond to that challenge. Right. Um, and then out of this, I need to know what to do next. Right. What do I do next? And then once I know what to do, I need courage yeah. to go out and do it. Yeah. And so I, I pray that people would look by and say, okay, it's, you know, it's not just one little aspect, but I need all of it to say that I have worshiped God fully. Amen. Yeah. So I think even as we, we wrap this up, I love the thought that, you know, when our people are inviting friends, mm -hmm. family to, to worship here, uh, I, I would hope to think that there is some security in knowing yeah. when I invite someone, I pretty much know what they're going to get here. Yeah. Uh, it's not going to be something uh, unpredictable like a lot of pragmatic churches would do. Man, is my pastor going to ride in on a, on a motorcycle? Is yeah. he going to zip line in uh, to the pulpit or whatever? Uh, we've seen videos like that. Yeah. But yet, uh, I hope our people will appreciate the fact that, man, we are trying to put together, structure a service in such a way that magnifies God, that, that speaks of His holiness, His, his transcendence, that He is so otherworldly, that beyond our, our comprehension, but yet He is a, an intimate God. And so we want all of those aspects to be on display. And so, uh, so hopefully our people are excited to invite other people to come. And uh, even though it's, it's, a, it's a style that might be different than what others might be used to, it's still something that's very uh, good and, uh, and, and honoring to Christ in, in what we do. And I also hope our people, you know, as they watch this, that it would stir conversation. Yes. That if there's, I know we didn't cover everything perfectly right. or, or fully. And so if there's a question they have to ask, you know, I, I, I love being able to talk about these different things, talk about the song choices that we have, the order of, of worship. And I know you do as well and love 
the opportunity to talk about the preaching and, and mm. everything that we have going on. Absolutely. And so hopefully this will spur more conversations. Oh, this isn't to say, hey, this is what we're saying. So everybody, you know, yeah. listen and don't say anything about it. No, let's yeah. let's talk about it more. Amen. Well, may the worship of the people at Green Ridge Baptist Church, may it be sweet, may it be God honoring and may he be glorified in it. Amen and amen. Amen.